Okay, I've been getting a lot of requests for doing a commentary on this video here. It's not the first time I've gotten it, but it's grown over the last few days since I posted that picture of me putting a K9 filter on an industrial air compressor in a very, very dirty environment. So I checked with the lawyer too. No, this is not illegal. No, this is not libel. No, this is not cyberbullying. And no, this is not against the law. So hence why it's not illegal. So make of it what you will. You can go and check it with your lawyers too. I already did. That's why I'm making this video. So it's, this one is about a guy from Master Garage and then the title of his video is Bad Effects of Racing Filter for Daily Use. So let's hear what he has to say. It's gonna be a long one because his original video is already like 15 minutes long. Well, actually I've watched through the entire thing. We'll just chop up the rest of the video after the two-thirds line because it's not relevant to the discussion anymore. Okay mga pap, mga sir, mga ma. At the end of the day, kayo pa rin po ang masusunod dyan. So, First off, smart disclaimer. At the end of the day, it's your decision, it's your fault. I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, kaya nga ito, ibabalik sa stock kasi nakita ni sir eh, nung ginan niya yung turbo niya, ba parang nag-aari na nga. Bun, oh, may... oh. Kita na. Ano. Oh, di ba? Meron na eh. I'll do, I mean, translation here for the guys who are not in the Philippines and who are reading this. So, basically what he said that, they have a Montero that wants to go back to stock because when he opened it up, as you can see on the video, the housing is out, the hose is out. The impeller blades already have wear in them. It, they have little teeth because of the dirt and grit that got into it. So, intro, 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 skip. Magandang hapon po ulit sa inyo lahat mga paps. Okay. Good afternoon. Ito na po ang pinaka-pinali, pinaka-final na, pa, na usapin dito sa yung uh, filter na ganun. <laughs> Okay, dito na po natin tatapusin yan mga papa. Yan, yan sasabi ko sa inyo na hindi po yan pwedeng gamitin. Ganun ba? Ano bang mga ng right term doon? Na, eh, hindi talaga siya pwede pang daily. What he's referring to here is a cane and drop-in filter and he's adamant that he said, you cannot use this in a daily driver car. Ito na naman po yung hubad na katotohanan ng epekto ng ganyang klaseng filter. Okay, again, ito pong sasakyan na to, okay, ito pong sasakyan na to, ito na po ang pinaka-advanced, ang pinaka-high technology na engine na ginawa ng car maker na to, okay, para sa buong mundo. Pagdating sa Pilipinas, mali na naman. <laughs> So the engine in the Montero is the most high-tech thing that Mitsubishi has ever made but doesn't work in the Philippines. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Diba? Oh, mali na naman. Oh, sige, bakit ano na naman yun? Pag-uusapan natin yan, hihimayin natin yan one by one. Eh, okay, he'll take it apart one by one on why. Din nilinis na yung ano na ito, yung uh, intake at saka EGR clean. Na halos hindi na po makahinga. Sobrang barado na. 2017, so around 4 years. So what he's saying is that they already cleaned the intake and the EGR and it cannot breathe. What's not clear here is, if they just cleaned it now or they cleaned it before uh, we're assuming that that's why it's in the shop now because they just did the cleaning now and by intake we're assuming he means intake manifold because the only thing that's uh, disassembled from what we can see in the video is the airbox then that's it and it's been four years since he had it cleaned so again we don't know if it's part of that or again if the filter was, was also not cleaned for the last four years, it, it doesn't make that distinction. Ayan, four years pa lang pong ginagamit itong kasakya na to. Uh, sir, mileage? Oh, 58,000. So, sa 58,000, 246. Halos, hindi pa nga ito masyadong gamit, Pops. Okay, dapat ito sa four years, nasa 80,000 na ito. Eh. The average mileage of the car in the Philippines, actually, this is statistically proven, is about 10,000 kilometers per year. That's the average. That's why in your user's manual, there's always first change oil or something, something, or first 10,000 kilometers in the warranty, whichever comes first. Because the assumption is every year you accumulate 10,000 or so kilometers. So he's saying that in four years, it should have driven twice the amount is already wrong. 
Yes, it's higher than average, but no, it's not the average. That is exactly what a daily car does. You don't use this car to travel tip to tip from the country every week. Yeah, pero nasa 60 pa lang siya. Oh, kita nyo. So hindi pa siya talagang ganung gamit na gamit. Oh, ayun ang mas magandang oh, yung bahay ano lang to. Okay, bio opisina. Okay, hindi na po tayo magpapaligoy-ligo. Okay, so, iba ano na po so, natin. Ah, natin. You get to the meat. He's showing the KNN filter ito, now. Yung ganito mga filter. Yeah, yung mga ganyan mga filter. Sa sobrang lakas na ng higop nito, kanda pipipipi na. So, the KNN filter is saying that if we flipped it over, the wire mesh actually got wrinkled because the engine suction is too much for the filter. That already is absolutely because no, the suction and how the engine ingests air is exactly the same since the day it was bought. It did not become more powerful over time. He didn't say it was remapped or not, but even if it was remapped, it is still the same. Boost is boost. If it's made at 2,000, 25, or 3,000, it's still the same amount of boost. 24 PSI is 24 PSI, no matter where in the RPM it occurs. So no, it did not suck in more air and it did not grow more powerful all of a sudden just because you put in a KNN filter and it was so powerful it wrinkled it. Okay. So, so ito. Actually, Pops, pag gumamit ka niyan, meron kang choice, di ba? Meron kang choice. Choice. Ano ba yung uh, dalawang choices mo diyan? Yung lumakas yung makina mo, lalakas talaga. Oh. Or yung magiging epekto niyan doon sa engine mo. Saan ka ba doon? Saan ka ba doon? Doon sa mga, sa akala mo makakatipid ka sa filter o doon sa ihahaba ng buhay ng makina mo. Ah, di ba? Eh? What? Yung mga ganito klaseng filter po talaga, hindi po nakaka-filter yan ng mga very fine particles. Mga very, very... Wait, let's go back to the first one. Choice. So, he is saying that you have a choice. Either you want... You put a K9 filter because you want more power versus a shorter engine life. That is also actual bullshit. <laughs> Any filter is, that's why it's called a filter. It's designed to get dirty. And from looking at this filter, the owner itself did not clean it. The dirt don't magically just disappear just because it gets filtered. It stays in the filter. Its job is to get dirty. I think what he's trying to say is that the filter is doing a job if it's clean. No. The dirtier the filter, the more you know it's doing its job of filtering the air. But of course, anything that gets too clogged and you suck on it, something will have to give. Take your vacuum cleaner at home. If your vacuum bag is full, suction ain't too good. You ain't picking up no more dirt and it's not as efficient. And he's saying that these kinds of filters are not designed to filter very very fine particles i'm not going to argue with him on that because there are studies dating back 20 years ago on how effective canon's filtration is you can just google it on the internet very fine dirt shout out po sa inyo dyan makakalabas at makakalabas po yan dyan okay. so ang ginagawa po nila dyan ng iba nilalagyan po ng langis okay. so what he's saying is that some people put oil on the k filter. Hello, it is pre-oiled from the factory. The oil is what helps trap the dirt. It's a sticky stuff that makes the dirt stick to the cotton medium. That's what it is. The oil is not there to destroy the engine. The oil is there to trap the dirt. Pag nilagyan niyo po ng langis yan, lalo pong kakapit yung mga alikabok dyan. Pag yes, that's po true! Pag kumapit yung lalo pong hindi makakahinga yan. Kaya po, ganyan po nangyari. Oh. Because you have to clean it. It gets dirty, you clean it. Just like your shirt. If it gets dirty, you clean it. <laughs> sa sobrang lakas ng, ng, uh, ng boost, imagine mong napipi niya sa gitna yan. Uh -huh. e parang ihawan na baka lang ano yan. Again, he's saying that because the boost is so much that you're able to squish the metal mesh. Uh, I will get now a stock paper filter that we have lying somewhere here in our garage and I'll show you to you that it's also squished. Alright, this is a stock filter that is really dirty. We just took out the car that we're servicing and guess what? It's kind of wrinkled too. <laughs> 
And this is a non-turbo car. This came from a Honda City. So this car has no boost. And yet still, it's so powerful, you can deform the filter. Ah. Oh, diba? Ito po, sa throttle body. Ito oh, now showing the throttle body. Tingnan nyo naman po. Ayan. Ayan po yung throttle body. Ihimahimahin po natin to detalye ba? Yes, we can see the throttle yeah. body. Ito, nung ginanyan nyo po yan, okay? At ginan ito, yan o. So, he's showing that there is... So it's showing that there's oil and gunk in the throttle body. Yes, that is normal in a diesel. It happens. It's not because it's defective and it's definitely not because of the filter. It really happens. Puro buhangin. Oh, yan. Diba? Ngayon, ito pong throttle body, okay, hindi pa po talaga ito yung pinuntirya ng dumi. Yan. Ang totoo pong tatamaan talaga niyan, yung turbo. Yan ang unang-unang tatamaan niya, yung mm -hmm. turbo. Okay, That's yan true. Po. From so, the air filter. Filter. From the air filter, it goes into the turbo. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Yan. Ganyan po yung mangyayari dyan. Yes. Throttle body. Okay. Ito po yung mula dun sa, uh, sa air cleaner, papunta dun sa... Uh, okay, yes. So, yan. there's oil. Air cleaner. Yan. Yan, no? Nakita niyo po yan, no? Air cleaner papunta sa turbo. Yan, nakita niyo po yung sa bandang dulo. Yung tuyo. Kasi yung bandang dulo po, tuyo po yan dahil wala pa pong oil mist dyan. Ah, so, yes, because it's clamped to the yung filter box. Yung nasa dulo po yan, parang pulbos. Yan, yan lang ha. Ah, ganyan po. Yan, ito pong nasa dulo na yan. Yan, para pong pulbos. Okay, what he's trying to show here that there are now dust particles inside the intake system so basically since the filter is not effective anymore and you're not filtering any dirt it's complete it's clogged so you're not filtering it no there's no additional dirt can go in if you have suction there somehow somewhere it will pull in dirt if you, from the outside after yeah, a filter is like a, a water sponge if the sponge is completely soaked it ain't gonna absorb no more water it's just it's as simple as that for all you guys aquariums out there you know what this is if your filter is already full of debris and fish poop you have to clean the filter so don't blame the filter blame the maintenance of the person who bought the knn and definitely do not tell people that it's the filter's fault <laughs> Okay. Tapos lalagyan pa nila ng OCC, di lalong natuyo. Pag lalo pong natuyo yan, ang lakas ho ng puwersa, okay, ng mga fine dirts na yan para tiktikin yung dulo o yung pinaka uh, impeller ng turbo. Ayan, na, dito na tayo sa turbo. Ayan, uh, ito po yung uh, maaaring uh, mag-penetrate yan. Ayan, ayan po yung maaaring mag-penetrate yan, ayan mga dumi. Ah, so now he's showing that there is a sand uh, inside the air box. Guess what? You will not just find sand there. We found cockroaches, we found feathers, we found leaves, we found dirt. We find insects inside the air box because the, what he's showing is actually it's the lower part of the air box. So the air box is two pieces like this. So there's the filter here, there's the upper piece here. This is the part that has the tube that goes to the turbo. This lower part here is a tube that connects to the outside atmosphere. So yes, you will have dirt coming in through there that will pass through this filter to get filtered and into the engine. That is normal. Yes, yes, yes. You see the dirt. Yes, it happens. Ito po tina niya mabuti. Yeah. Empo tina niya po yung turbo niya. So now he's gonna have a close-up look on the turbo. Yeah. Let him focus a little bit, and it's a bit hard to see. Yes, there are serrations on the impeller. Because of the sand that got in again, because he did not clean the filter. Master. Master. Yan, kaya pag gumamit ka ng mga ganyang klaseng filter, hindi yan uuubra sa mga daily use. Kaya yung mga car racers, okay. Kasi ganito yan, okay, sa Pilipinas. Okay, sa Pilipinas. Okay, now he's gonna go into a bit of Philippine culture. 
Is he saying that for the car racing scene, this is what happens? Pinas kasi, pag nakita nila nakalowered yung mga, yung mga sedan, yung mga BB, nakaganyan, ah, oh, gagayahin nila yun, ilowered nila. Hindi nila alam, naka-hydraulic yun. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> so, we say if you, if people see a Toyota BB, which is basically a K-car van, which looks like a really, really small van, which is based off the Vios, and then it's lowered, People will want to emulate that look because people like lowered cars. It's on hydraulics. No, it's not. It's on air suspension. Get your terms correctly. And no, not all the time. Most of them do not have air suspension. Most of them just lower it. Pagkatapos ng, ng show, itataas ulit nila yun. Akala nila ganun yun. Kaya ginagawa nila, pinipikay ngayon nila yun. Di ba nakapiki? Oh, pinipikay ngayon nila yun. Sinasalpa ka na napakaraming washer. So what he says is that, after the show, they raise it. Yes, most of these cars are on coil over, so yes, you have to raise it. That's the whole point of coil overs. You can lower it down during the show so it looks nice, then you raise it by an inch, an inch and a half, so you can use it every day. And then they're, they say that he's putting a lot of washers to be able to have that stance. Uh, no, you don't put washers when you want stance. You put wheel spacers to push the wheels out. At para maging piki, eh, wasak ang bearing. Uh, durog ang bearing. Oh. Ah, so Kasi wala naman design. that by stancing, you will destroy the bearing. Na bearing na pahan eh. Yung pasibat eh, di ba? Walang ganun eh. Puro straight yun eh. Puro laki straight yun eh. Kaya pag ginanyan mo ngayon yun, eh nasa isang party lang yung tension, yung bigat. Durog ang bearing. Uh. <laughs> Apparently, this guy doesn't know how, how wheel bearings work. The bearing is tilted not because it, they're forcing it to tilt because the CV joint tilts it. And actually, here's the thing. This is your tire. If you load it like that, the load on the bearing is this way. If it's like that, guess what? The load on the bearing is still in this direction. The load on the rim is now split into two. If you remember your physics class, if you have a force this way, there is a y-axis, there's an x-axis, there's an x-axis here, and there's a y-axis there. That force is borne by the wheel, the edge of the rim, instead of the full weight of the wheel. So what you're stressing is this outer lip. But the bearing is connected to the wheel itself. In relation to the forces with this one and this one, they are both in the same this direction. There is no splitting of x and y forces on the bearing itself. So... This guy apparently does not know physics. The, be the bearing does not care how it's oriented. It could be oriented this way, that way, that way, that way, that way. It doesn't matter. Because the things that it's supposed to load in with reference to it does not change. Uh, very simple. Let's do a thing that everybody knows. Your power drill. Let's take one thing for example, your power drill. It has a couple of bearings inside. So according to him, if you you can only drill let's get up. Ah, okay, there you go. Let's take for example a power drill. Or here, there's an air drill. There's a bearing in here. There's a couple of bearings inside. There's one here, there's one here. So according to him, I can only drill in this direction. Because it's like that. I cannot drill like that. I cannot drill 45 degrees. I cannot drill that way. And I sure as hell cannot drill downwards. Don't think guy grad yeah, guy doesn't know any physics. Well, ganyan din yan dito sa sa makina. Akala nila yung mga nagre-racing ipinande daily daily nila. Hindi nila alam. Okay, yung mga nagre-racing yan, pagkatapos ng racing, balik lahat sa stock. <laughs> balik lahat sa stock. Kasi unang una ma. No, that's not what racers do. You saying this obviously means that you have no idea what racing is. You don't know how to race. You've never been to race. Illegal or legal otherwise. The race cars have that same setup day in, day out. The guys who go on the track day have that same setup day in, day out. 
Maingay o mausok o pagdating doon o balik sila sa stock. O yung iba, pina-flatbed. Yan. Sa Dubai, kapag meron kang racing na sasakyan pang racing, ay kailangan mong i-flatbed 'yon. Mm, the reason why you flatbed race cars is because they are not registered to be road legal in Dubai. The cops will catch you. And here the reason why they flatbed the race cars because nobody wants to drive from Manila to Clark with a, a car that's loud, noisy, hot without aircon. That's why we rather flatbed it. And just in case something goes wrong, it is racing. Things will break, you will crash, you have a flatbed to tow it back to the shop. It's not because it's for racing, it's for daily. Dali mo sa racetrack, doon mo gagamitin. Pero hindi mo pwedeng gamitin yun doon sa street legal na sinasabi, sa street lang. Kasi mahuhulit, mahuhuli ka. Eh napakarami modification, bawal na bawal doon. Yes, Kung maglagay ka nga lang Dubai. ng bulbar, Pops, kasi humahumaba na yung sukat eh. Paano na yung puntos na yun, hindi ka na marirehistro. Bulbar lang yun, Pops. Yung mga sobrang, uh, yung wala sa specs na gulong, bagsak yun, sigurado. Paano yung paparehistro? Oh, kaya pag pinarehistor yun, eh, yun kasi ginagawa namin sa Dubai. Kasi ako naka-bullbar din ako dun eh. Tatanggalin ko muna yung bullbar. Tapos ibabalik ko muna yung stock kong gulong. O oh, pagka, pag, uh, ano na, okay, balik ulit. <laughs> yung taon-taon, ganun ang ginagawa. Oh, ayan po. Guess what? It's not only in Dubai where you have to do that. But you say that every year with car inspection, you have to put it back to stock. Yes, again, UK does it. Hong Kong does it. Australia does it. America does it. Well, here we don't have to do that. <laughs> well, not yet, but eventually uh, with the MVIS, with the exhaust, most likely you will have to put the stock exhaust back to pass the decibel test and among other things. Uh, well, I guess we're one of the last holdouts that if it's, we can get away still with the stock tires because it's, of course, the tire, wheel and tire industry here is kind of big. They will not go down without a fight. For, it's very simple. If you're gonna outlaw bigger wheels, then you should first start with the manufacturer. You offer a Vios with 15-inch wheels. Two years later, you offer it with 17-inch wheels. So, are you saying that two years ago, 17 inches are illegal, and now two years later, 17 inches are legal? It's gray area. Very, very gray area. Ito yung hubad na katotohanan, na, diba? Ito po yung mauubos dyan, yan. Yan po yung mauubos dyan, paunti, unti, unti, unti. Eh, ito, magkano to? Ah, diba? Ay, so now he's pointing to the turbo and saying how much it is. Mahina ang 80 mil dito sa bagong uh, turbo. It's 80 grand. Philippine peso, so that's about 1,000 something dollars. That's pretty much correct. Okay. Oh, ito pong buong turbo kasi pag nasira yan, pangkaraniwan, isang buo yung pinapalitan. Oh, diba? Diba? Number wahid yan, kahit sa Saudi Arabia, ganun din yan, sa Oman, sa Qatar, yan. Aka, dito lang po sa Pilipinas, yung mga ganitong engine ay palpak. <laughs> so apparently, if he's been to Oman, Saudi, Korea, in Saudi Arabia, engines there don't fail, only in the Philippines fails. Really? Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> o, diba? O, lagyan ng OCC yan. Biro mo, ito yung ano yan, no? ito yung breather. Nakalagay yan dyan eh. Diba? Ito kasi yung nag... Ano eh, nag ito ito yan. Oh, yung, yung oil oil na yan. Yan. yan yung oil oil na yan. Yan. Akala kasi nila Pops masama daw yung ano. Kasi basa sila ng basa sa Google. Yung langis daw. Bawal daw yun sa ano. Sa sistema. Kaya dapat daw yun. Uh, pinapatay. Yan. Kaya lalagyan ng OCC. Ngayon nung nilagyan ng OCC. Siyempre. Itong mga buhangin na to. Oh sir. Ito po. Yan. Pag nakawala ka po yan dun sa racing filter nyo. Ito yan. Yan. Eh, titik Tikin po yan kasi mula ano, mula filter. So, so he's saying now, if you put an oil catch cad, you prevent the misty air from going inside to the turbo system, which is true. That's why people put it. And because of that, if you have an oil catch can, then those sand particles that don't get filtered because our filter again is not doing its job anymore. We'll go into the turbo. That's true. But again, that's not why people put the oil catch can in the first place. Yes, they put it because they see it on number one reason. They see it on the internet. My personal take on oil catch can is this. Do you need to put it? No. Is it nice to have? Yes. What does it do? Well, it again, it catches the oil. It saves you from maintenance. Not really because you will still have to clean it. So again, you don't need to put it, nice to have. You will have to clean your 
turb your cars, well, your diesel car system, which includes the intake, manifold, includes the intercooler, includes the, all the hoses, twice a year. That's really part of diesel maintenance. There's no escaping that catch can or no catch can. Yan, mula filter po yan, dito kagad yan sa vacuum. Mm. Bago ngayon pumunta yan dito sa bababa, okay, pupunta muna niya ng intercooler at saka po yan pupunta dun sa intake. Saka pa lang po pupunta dito yan. Kita nyo gumapag na hanggang dito. Mm. Oo, oh, tapos mali pa rin si Master. Oh, diba? Yes, you're so wrong. Nila. Yes, you're, you're so very wrong. Because I will repeat for the end time, the problem is not the filter, the problem is not the car, definitely not the high-tech engine that Mitsubishi put in. It is because the owner did not bother to clean the filter. Matagal na raw na meron nun. Eh, sabi ko nga, ito nga, 2020 model, 2021 model eh. Wala pa rin nakalagay na ganun dun. Eh, stock pa rin eh. O, tira mo naman yung ano, yung stock. Hmm. Kita mo naman yung stock bobs, oh. Pati yung halo ka mo. Mm. Nihalos nga, hindi na ito makahingi. Eh. Oh, pero may science dyan at engineering. Oh, God. Yes. Na kahit ganyan ang itsura niyan, oo, oh, hindi ka mabibitin. A filter, if it's clogged, irregardless if it's stock, a KNN, VNC, AM, it doesn't matter. That's why you throw it away if it's stock. Because it is not working as efficiently anymore. And you both lose power. This is part, this is again, this is partly owner's stupidity and actually, yeah, it is owner's stupidity. Let me get a KNN box. Well, here's our KNN box and like the sad fact here in the Philippines, nobody reads anymore. They take that box. Ooh, nice box. Ooh, they take out the filter. Ooh, filter. Put, put it in. Mm. Mm. Brand new filter, yay, oh, you, hooray, you put it in. Throw away, throw away, eh, throw away. Nobody bothers to read any of this stuff. Actually, nobody reads this or even this. It's outside of the box. And it says here clearly, clean every 50,000 miles or about 80,000 kilometers. The filter requires cleaning every 50,000 miles for highway use, more often in dusty conditions or for the lowest restriction. You keep hearing it said over and over again. We live in a very dusty country. So instead of 50,000, why don't you clean it at half that? Our advice to everybody here is when you have the cane and filter, you clean it once a year. You can clean it every single month if you want. But the point is, you have to clean it. And it says so right there. For detailed and clean instructions, visit knn.com. Or you can just go to YouTube. There are about 10,000 videos there to show you how to clean the filter. It says it right there, folks. You have to clean the filter. It's not that you put it in and you forget it. Eh, magkano lang naman yan? O, oh, eh, eh, oh, pagpalagay mo, halimbawa, ito, nasa 5,000 plus yung 500 na langis na ilalagay mo. Eh, tuwing kailan ba ito pinapalitan, air cleaner? Uh, ang idea niyan is 20,000 kilometer run, which is every year. O, oh, eh, hindi yung 5,000 mo, 5,000 taon nakatumbas. Eh, tagal naman yata yun, di ba? Sold ka na ron. At least, napoprotektahan yung mga internals mo na huwag madami. Yo. Again, he misses the point. If you change your filter once a year, you also clean the cane in once a year. You don't just drop it in and then leave it. Either he doesn't get the point or he's intentionally not telling people that point that you have to clean it. He's not that so, Ako po kasi alam ko na to eh. Eh paano po yung no, mga hindi pa nakakaalam? Oh, di ba? Ilang beses ka na po yun ipinakita? About. Ilang beses ka na po yun idinemo ng live? Kasi ayoko nang oh, ayoko po kasi nagla-live nang walang ebidensya kasi doon sila nakakakuha ng butas eh. Para maka- Ah, uh, well, apparently now you encountered somebody like me who really knows what he's talking about and then he say that he doesn't go on live video without evidence because people can find all sorts of stuff if it's edited so this is the unedited version and thank you for the unedited version it just goes to show again you don't know what you're talking about and you're intentionally misleading people 
makapakit makapakit sila eh. Oo. Oh. Ito, ano pang iaano mo diyan? Ano pang ireribate mo diyan? Oo, oh, 'di ba? Eh, ano ah, alam ko na. Ganito ang katwiran nila diyan. Oh, 'di ba? Ah, peki 'yan ginamit. Ganun lagi sila. Peki 'yan. Magkano ba 'yan? 5,000. Hindi, ang original niya mga 15,000 eh. <laughs> <laughs> so, the family A fake cane filter costs 5,000 pesos, which is about $100. The real cane filter costs 15,000 pesos, which is $300. That is not just... Take your pick. <laughs> Absurd, stupid, misinformed, thing idiotic. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Oh, yes, meron pa rin silang lusot. Peki yan, peki yan. Kaya ganyan. Yan, iba pa. Hindi yan yung orange. Yung orange. So, imagine mo po lang yun. Dito nga lang sa Master Garage Pubs. Eh, yung alikabok dito, sobra eh. O, oh, diba? Yung sobrang fine ng dirt niyan, Pubs. Pag nakalusot yan, eh, ganyan. Ito, i-ano ko po ha. I-zoom ko ha. Yan. Ito pong fine dirt. Ito pong fine dirt. Ito na nakawala. Galing to kasi sa atmosphere. Ito. That is definitely not fine dirt. Saan ba yan? Yan. Galing kasi dito yan. O yan. Pumasok yan dito. Okay. Eh laks ng vacuum na ito Pops. Bawal nga yan iharang yung kamay mo eh. Pag nirevolution mo yan. Yung parang chochok mo. Apo. So that's. Ayan. Baka maputol ang daliri mo dyan. Ayan, nakita niya po yan. Ganito po yung halos. Yes, you will really cut your finger off if you stick your hand inside the turbo. Then again, it will not run if the hose and the mass airflow is not there. So, moot point. Ito sa ginagamit na pang tanggal ng pintura. Nagamit yung sunblasting. Ayan po yan. Oh, Kapag yan po eh, may ilang PSI to. Sam, this is normal sand from the atmosphere. If you want to use the sandblasting medium, it's a hell of a lot finer than that. Again, can you just not talk? Because the more you talk, the dumber you sound. Hindi ba ilang PSI ito? Imagine nung pag nag 4,000, 5,000 RPM ka, lintik ang lakas nun. Kaya nga hindi kinaya nung filter na yung filter na to, natabing yun eh. Kaya sobra na yung dami ng dumi, tumiklop na. Well, just repeating whatever he said. At 4,500 RPM, there's a lot of boost. And yes, it has been the same boost ever ever since when he bought the car. It didn't change. At okay mga pap, mga sir, mga ma'am. At the end of the day, kayo pa rin po ang masusunod dyan. Okay, he just repeats it. Disclaimer again. Oo, oh, kaya nga ito, babalik sa stock kasi nakita ni sir eh, nung ganun niyo yung turbo niyo, ba parang yeah, yeah, nagari yeah, yeah. na. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bumingin. Oo. Oh. Oh. Nakita na. Oo, oh, diba? Meron na eh. Oo, oh, ang iniisip ni master dito. Kaya kayo pa rin po yung masusunod dyan. Hmm. Kaya imagine, imagine nyo na lang po, sa turbo muna yan dadaan, at bago po yan. Okay, just repeating everything again and showing everything again. Can, we can skip this part here. Yes, we just learned that everything that, most of what you said is not true. If this guy was really concerned for the customer, his... The troubleshoot would be this one, sir, clean your filter. That is what caused the damage in the first place. Not blaming on, on the on the KN and whatnot. No. So there's a reason why I don't like watching these local videos because I just want to shoot the screen sometime. The sheer amount of stupidity that I watch is not good for me and for my sanity. So there you go. Completely debunked, completely shredded. And I will not say at the end of the day, it's up to you. No, at the end of the day, I you I tell you what is correct, you believe me, and not this hack on YouTube.